In this video tutorial, we will see how to create a simple project, add some variables, and create a small pr program in which we have an if statement. Click on the project, click on new project, and have it as if statement. Click on the PLC series as XGB, CPU type as XGB e XECH. Click on the structure text and press OK. So this is the program environment. Click on the new program and you have local variables and program. First we will create some local variables. So double click on the local variables. Click on the variable kind. So it's actually variable type and we have a small variable test. Type as bool. Address you can assign if digital address for example uh, ix 0.0.0, .0 for a digital input and enter and have uh, another variable we are test one so we have two variables you can right click on export into a text file so the file will look like this you can add many variables to it for example so in this case we have four variables you will be able to have this variable saved you can export the variables which we have created by clicking on import variables from file in this video tutorial we will see how to create a simple project add some variables and create a small pr program in which we have a if statement click on the project click on new project and have it as if statement click on the PLC series as XGB CPU type as XGB e XECH click on the structure text and press OK so this is the program environment click on the new program and you have local variables and program first we will create some local variables so double click on the local variables click on the variable kind so it's actually variable type and we have a small variable test type as bool address you can assign if digital address for example uh, ix 0.0.0, .0 for a digital input And enter and have uh, another variable we are test one so we have two variables you can right click on export into a text file So the file will look like this you can add many variables to it for example so in this case we have four variables you will be able to have this variable saved You can export the variables which we have created by clicking on import variables from file and look for export so now we have all these variables created so we have four variables now save the project go to program now we will create the if else simple if else statements so if so you can see that while we type in it will come up with all, all the different options for different commands 
so if so those are the commands but when you type it a particular variable name it will come up with a different icon so here it just says test and then you can see the different coloring as well so if test equal one so all the constant values it will come up with a different color then again it's actually a part of the commands so it will automatically align the position of the cursor as well for different um, statements so we are just typing test one followed with colon equal and one and a semicolon so these are the kind of uh, formats in which we, we have to type it um, and if And semicolon so it, this is a very simple program in which we are just checking if the test value is equal to 1 then have the test 1 is equal to 1 so you can save the program you can click on the view click on the check program to see whether all the program which we have done at the moment is correct whether there is any errors or anything like that you'd be able to select what are the different type of warnings or errors which we need for different objects like duplicate errors or any logic error or things like that so we'll be able to select what we need to check and press ok so it will come up with the error message if there is any errors and uh, so it will just say what are the things which they have checked and things like that so you can see all those things variable compilation report at the export so now we have all these variables created so we have four variables now save the project go to program now we will create the if else simple if else statements so if so you can see that while we type in it will come up with all, all the different options for different commands so if so those are the commands but when you type it a particular variable name it will come up with a different icon so here it just says test and then you can see the different coloring as well so if test equal one so all the constant values which will come up with a different color then again it's actually a part of the commands so it will automatically align the position of the cursor as well for different um, statements so we are just typing test one followed with colon equal and one and a semicolon so these are the kind of uh, formats in which we, we have to type it um, and if and semicolon so it, this is a very simple program in which we are just checking if the test value is equal to one then have the test one is equal to one so you can save the program click on the view click on the check program to see whether all the program which we have done at the moment is correct whether there is any errors or anything like that you'll be able to select what are the different type of warnings or errors which we need for different objects like duplicate errors or any logic error or things like that so we'll be able to select what we need to check and press ok so it will come up with the error message if there is any errors and uh, so it will just say what are the things which they have checked and things like that so you can see all those things variable compilation report at the